we were given a challenge to design what is the most important tower of a very large planned complex called the King Abdullah Financial Center in Riyadh. The tower was to have approximately 1.8 million square feet and was said to be the tallest structure in this complex. We were given a very small site to work within and a very planned development with some very unique features in the plan. And we had to design a structure that would be both efficient uh, and at the same time iconic. The characteristics of this building are quite unique in many respects. The form of the building was really generated because of the constraints of the site. Uh, it had to be a form that could adapt to the footprint of the site. It had a podium, and at the bottom of the podium it had a lot of services that needed to be accommodated. But the tower itself had to fit in this very unusual site uh, dimension. And it led to the creation of this uh, hexagonal shape. And this shape, we then, what we did with it was to create a very simple core that works in a radial pattern around the center. And then we started to shape the structure by creating these, this, these sort of cants in the building. And you, you will see the structure has this very kind of geometrical pattern, prismatic pattern. That was in a way inspired by the plan itself, which called the master plan, which called for a series of ideas around crystalline structures being the sort of the notion for these buildings. So our building became a kind of diamond and all the facets of the buildings are diamond shaped. The form also helps in terms of the sun. It means that the various facets uh, allow the sun to be captured in different ways. We created a second exterior system of shading devices that cover the entire structure. It was very well thought out. We connected a series of glass fins that are set in a diagonal pattern that match the, the building itself, but the diagonal pattern also works very well with the sun. So we have essentially a shroud of, of, um, of solar protection around this tower. So while it is a glass tower, it's highly uh, shadowed. And yet from the inside, as you look from the inside out, you have some very open views uh, to the city. The other thing I think that's really fascinating and made the tower possible is a new system of elevators that uh, is developed by Thies and Krupp. And this system of elevators allows us to express in dual cabs, express folks to sky lobbies. But from the sky lobbies, when the local elevators take over, we have another series of elevators, and these function differently than any elevator you've ever seen. We have one elevator on top of another elevator, but they're detached from each other. So they actually in essence, what we're doing is we're putting two elevators into the same elevator shaft. They work independently of each other, and it allows us to move a lot more people in a way that's a lot more efficient. I can tell you that the building is scheduled to be completed in, uh, in the spring of 2015, so we're very close to that date now. It is already a significant element on the skyline. It has been topped off. So this, this building is a very important building. It was a very important milestone project for the Houston office and for HP as a whole. Uh, the, the building really represents a, uh, a significant contribution to the world's skyline tallest building. And it really is the result, of, the result of a great collaboration between two offices, the Houston office and the St. Louis office. Uh, we were able, through that collaboration, to develop many, many ideas and we think hit upon a very unique